Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm just, it's been a long time since I made a video. I know it's, uh, it's been a little ridiculous. Um, been playing some different games that I'm going to start uh, putting out videos on. But this, I, I hadn't been on X-Plane in a while. And um, I got an email saying that uh, Arrow, is it Arrow Basque? Is uh, offering up this plane for free to anybody who is an xplane.org member. Um, and it's not, it, it's just a forum that you sign up for. It's nothing, you know, it's, it's a free site, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is a great little plane. Um, I think they did an amazing job with it. Uh, there's different liveries for it. Uh, today we're going to go with this, uh, little orange and white livery. There's no menu, you know, uh, like on some of the payware planes, there's no little menu over here to take off the static, uh, you know the the little uh, cones and chocks and the shut the cargo door and everything so basically all that stuff goes away um when we get the plane going so go up here to shut the door it just slides right back the interior is pretty nice too i mean this if this is by far the best free airplane uh I've seen so far as far as a, a general aviation goes this is one of the best ones I've seen I mean this is this is really good and it was really uh, nice of them to actually put this out um, you know put this out for free to let us uh, you know let us test out their their product um, I do have a couple of aircraft uh, from them and they they've always done a really great job so We'll go ahead and uh, get this thing fired up. I have not really messed around with this thing too much. Okay, so batteries coming on. You can hear all the avionics coming on. I love the sounds for this. This is great. Go ahead and make sure that everything's turned up for you so you guys can hear. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, pop that. We're going to get the engine switch on. The preheating light is on, so I'm going to wait for that to turn off. We're not going to do anything too fancy today. We're just going to um, we're just going to do a little flight test around uh, Ukiah, California here. All right, that preheating light is off. Fuel is on. We'll go ahead and start her up. A little bit of gas here. Ooh. All right. Nope. And turn that down just a little bit here. The engine sounds are great. Love it. So, all right, we're gonna get our alternator on here. Go ahead and just close that. Turn our avionics on. And I love this glass cockpit. I mean, every everything works. Um, you know, you can put in your flight plan if you want. So my last flight plan was from uh, Kenai to Homer. But that is not where we're at now, obviously. Uh, every, I mean, everything works in this. This isn't, there's not one function on here that is uh, not clickable or usable. Transponder, we can see our transponder code. You can turn it on to ident. Yeah, navdad is out of date. I know that. That's it is what it is, right? All right. So we'll go ahead and get our flaps down. I just love all the sounds of this. I mean, this this aircraft is just legit. It is great. I like the wing style too. I mean, it's just it's really neat. So, all right. The only issue I have with it uh, so far, <laughs> a little iPad, uh, is that sometimes you can see this cowling shakes or this uh, firewall shakes like it's loose. It's like it's, it's just shaking from the vibrations, but uh, it, it doesn't always do that. So, all right, let me see if I can find a windsock here. Actually, oh. There we go. Okay. Pretty calm anyway, so let's go ahead and get out of here and uh, do some flying. Like I said, it's not going to be a completely legit flight. 
we're just going to get up and fly around and see how it is. And, uh, okay. Apparently I'm in Harry Potter world because there's some flying cars. Fantastic. All right. Let's see. And I don't have any of my traffic add-ons turned on right now, so I don't have to worry about there being any traffic. So we're just going to say that we are um, we're good. Clear for takeoff. There's nobody around. Ooh, this thing. I mean, I I'm adding no throttle at all, and it's wanting to go. So, all right. Speeds alive. Wow, she picks up fast. All right, it flaps up. Very, very nice. And what I'll do is, um, we'll go ahead and turn the autopilot on here in a minute, and we'll get some outside views. I mean, right now, it, climbing out at 85 knots at 1,200 feet per minute, I mean, that's ridiculous. This thing is really wanting to get up and go. She's a little loud on the inside. I mean, that's typical for general aviation airplanes, but still. I am really loving this plane. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set up our autopilot. I guess I should have done that before I took off. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I'm going to end up uh, messing myself up here. Let me go ahead and get her all trimmed out. And, uh, oh. Get the yaw damper turned on here. If I have one. Which I don't think I do on this aircraft. Nope. Alright. Turn that down just a little bit there. Let's go ahead and autopilot it out right here. So what we want to do, and I, like I said, it's not legit. I didn't even get my altimeter set up or anything like that. So it is what it is, right? We're going to go up to 4,000 feet. So we're going to turn our vertical speed indicator on. All right. And we'll go to the heading knob. I'll just put it in heading mode. I want to turn to the right a little bit here. I want to head up to the north. All right. Some outside shots. This plane is just, it's so easy to fly. I mean, it's fast. It wants to get up and go. And it's just... Really, really cool airplane. Really cool airplane. So I'm going to go ahead and put the link to the airplane down in the description. Um, like I said, if, you, if you're not a part of the xplane.org uh, forum there, it's, it's really easy to sign up and uh, they don't they email you whenever X-Plane has uh, some cells going on on their, air, on their aircraft and uh, so there's a forum and then there's also a store there so you can get some other aircraft as well as more Aero Basque airplanes too alright so our autopilot is saying that we're approaching our altitude that's what that little beep was 
One thing I have not seen, there's your pitot heat, okay, but one thing I don't know of is where the landing lights are, unless these are the landing lights, but I don't think so. I think these are the interior lights. That's one thing. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, I guess it is a landing lights. All right. Ah, okay. Very cool. All right, so you can have the inboard or outboard lights on, it looks like. Yep. Very nice. It's very responsive, too. It's a very, very nice airplane. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head on back, try to do a landing here, and that'll do it for the video. But yeah, this is this is by far the best free airplane I have ever seen. Um, and I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to, uh, you know, give you a little taste of what they can do with aircraft and maybe you uh, go to their website and find another one that, that you actually want to invest in. And they are worth it. They are very, very worth it. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Let's go down to 2,000 feet here. Turn on our vertical speed. Cut the power. I mean, fully functional autopilot. It's nice. It is nice. Um, but of course, I don't want to do autopilot right now. That was just to get the. That was just to help get the outside shots. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, line up. We're gonna land with the wind instead of against it, which is never a good idea. But like I said, this is not an official. I know what the hell I'm doing flying video. This is a. This is a showcase video pretty much of what this airplane can do and how detailed it is. So go ahead and uh, see how well I can pull off a landing. If I can pull off a landing here. Getting a little bit little bumpy with the with the winds coming off of the mountains all right trying to drink coffee and fly an airplane at the same time here. And if you're not familiar with this kind of a glass cockpit, it's uh, it's it takes a little bit to get used to. Um, but that little bar underneath of the arrow, that's my rudder, right? So that's, I need to keep that centered the best I can. Because if I just let go of everything, this is what it wants to do. You see it's off kilter and it's, uh, it's turning me. So very, very small corrections. Um, you've got your, you can switch between your radios here, your nav radio, nav one and two. Over here, you've got your communication radios and I need to focus on flying because I am way way too high up. I'm gonna drop her down a little bit quick here. Alright, trim it out. Speed, 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 speed. 
Now I don't I haven't read any of the documents on this. If there are any documents on this, I didn't actually look. I just I got so excited I just installed it. So I don't know what the I don't know what the takeoff speeds or landing speed like what the best is. I'm kinda just going off of like a Cessna. Go like one seventy two I guess. Like we'll just try to land at like sixty. And I can still not figure out the brakes, uh, the brake setting on, on X plane. Um, I have it set to when I when I pull my trigger, it breaks, and it's supposed to gently brake, but instead it just locks it up like that. So I don't. Uh, so instead, I just kind of tap the brakes, and that's what that sh 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 noise is. Uh, we're just gonna park it right here. We're just going to park it right here. All right. And that's it, guys. So, yeah. So, all right. Now that my parking brake is on. So, the firewall. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, the firewall is meant to shake like that. Interesting. Interesting for sure. Well, that's it, guys. I I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this uh helps make your decision on whether or not you want to download this airplane. Tell you what, this is very very cool airplane. And uh I think it's definitely worth definitely worth uh checking out. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave the description for the plane down there or the, the link to get the plane uh, down there in the description and uh, as well as a link to my Discord. If you guys want to play some games with me or if there's anything else that you guys want me to showcase, let me know. Uh, I'm going to put out a Jurassic World Evolution video here soon as well as some more uh, legit RP videos uh, for Grand Theft Auto V roleplay. I'm basically an adult version of Cops and Robbers. So that ought to be fun. And uh, if you guys want to get in on that, if there's any Grand Theft Auto V fans out there that, that want to um, want to get in on a, a community like that, then um, feel free to join. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are all having a great day. And, uh, and as always, have fun.